already know who it is. It's your boy. Me slapping ENT. Let's get it. Yo. If you ain't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Bros. We about to get lit in this bitch. You know, I ain't never did nothing for none of my birthdays. I got some weed up in this motherfucker. I got some shoes up in this bitch. Hold up. Wait a minute. content creators asking you to subscribe to their channel to like comment share their videos well come on over here to death row and he's slapping ent we ain't gonna ask you to subscribe we gonna make so yeah y'all go ahead and get y'all a little bit of reefer and a little bit of wine sit back and enjoy this video man let's get it Look, did you ask for permission, nigga? Did you ask for motherfucking permission, nigga? I wanna run with the nine, yep, I'm off that 1738. I ride with my 38. I smoke like a train, so I'm about to blow 30 straight. What down, what down, what down, what down, YouTube? It's your boy, Lee Slap. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share the video, man. Oh, God. I'm over here feeling like Oc Nation because I got that new laptop on the way, nigga. New microphone on the way, nigga. Me slapping live streams on the way, nigga. New content on the way, nigga. It's on the way, nigga. And you be on live all motherfucking day, nigga. Never take showers, nigga. I bet that little ass apartment stank, nigga. I bet that shit smell like a little bit of reefer and a little bit of how you do that there. Nigga, fuck you talking about? And yo, the nigga Pharaoh told me, he said, yo, I had a white man buy your house and put you and that bitch out on the street with them kids. Nigga, that's how I know you done lost your motherfucking mind. Because we could not be talking about the same white man that double sold your motherfucking house, huh? The same white man that came and took that motherfucking Corvette, huh? We could not possibly be talking about the same white man, froze. Impossibly, nigga. All right, look. Before I drop this video, let me tell y'all. Let me tell you what my dumb ass did, right? So I get off work, right? Um, I work the double. It's like five in the morning. This nigga froze on live. Um, I request to join the nigga live. The nigga added me to the live. Boom. I, I, how you say? Boom. Right? I screen record the shit, right? Get off the live. Play the footage back. Got the footage, but didn't get the video. Well, luckily, YP actually uh, dropped, he was on live on Twitch at the same time he was on live on Instagram. So I was still able to go over to Twitch, grab the footage from his Twitch, and try to combine it with my Instagram. And I'm going to keep it a thou wow with y'all ass. I'm going to keep it a thou wow. Hey, listen, if y'all really even support this nigga YP, if y'all really like YP, y'all need to help that man. And y'all can't help him by disagreeing with the stupid shit he's saying. The nigga is making terroristic threats on the internet. And terroristic threats on the internet. And terroristic threats on the internet. He threatened to kill people, the whole cities. He's conspiring with motherfucking Japan, Korea. This nigga is leading y'all ass astray. On the real. That nigga's an agent, bro. And when a motherfucker step up and try to say something to y'all, let y'all know what's going on. Y'all, y'all hating on YP. Y'all hating on YP. No. Motherfucker, listen, bro. <laughs> y'all niggas out here tweaking, boy. Did y'all not hear them bars? What's my pop? Did y'all not hear them bars? Did y'all not hear them bars? We're moving forward. I ain't gonna hold you up. And dirt. They about to get their ass shot. I ain't gonna hold you up. They about to get their ass shot. <clears throat> In real life, they about to get shot. In real fucking life, they about to get shot. I ain't gonna hold you up. Who are you? I'm accept your request, but who you is? Charles, what up? What's up, brody? How you? Because I got to get that. I'm high right now, and nigga, it's on my mind. I got to keep saying it till it get out of my heart. It's in my heart, nigga. That's, I'm going to let you know that's how I feel. I don't know if you ever felt. I don't know if you ever, um, I don't know.
don't know if you, I ain't gonna, like I said, we on the internet, nigga. I, I can say shit that people can't say. So, I ain't gonna try to entrap you or get you to say nothing, but I don't know if you ever killed somebody or wanted to kill somebody, but I have and I, I do. Never, I ain't never, hey, I grew up in Chicago, born and raised, I ain't never killed nobody. Right? All right, I'm gonna let you know, I killed a lot of, I killed a lot of motherfuckers. If I did say wrong, I won't get on motherfucking live and say I killed nobody either, bro. That's you, that's you. Like I said, I can say it, nigga. I'm the general. I can say it. I'm the general. I ain't no regular nigga. But I said to say this. Oh, I'm I'm killing Richard. And nigga, it's in my heart. I'ma say that shit. I'ma say that. Oh, wait, wait, let me get let me get it out. You ask me a question. You wait, you ask me, you ask me a question. You ask me a question, I'ma get it out. It's in my heart. I gotta say it as many times as I as many times as I can. Nigga, I've been betrayed. I've been betrayed. It's over. It's over. First of all, you say it's for clout. But I said that to say this. Oh no, I'm dead ass serious. I'm about to murder Richard Booth. Yeah, and if I can, I'm gonna I'm get his house bombed the fuck up. So, so, so look, can I ask you another question? Why, why would it be? For, let me ask you a question. Yeah, you can, listen. You can ask me whatever you want. I don't ask me no question. But I just want to ask you this: Why would why would you think that this would be for clout? I you, asked you, was it for clout? Because right, but I'm asking you why. You ain't just you ain't just see me get drugged. You ain't just see me get drugged in 2021. You ain't see. Oh, me? Nigga, Don't always. Can I say how I really feel? You ain't gonna kick me off for no shit for saying. I, I don't kick I don't kick niggas off for saying how they feel, but I want to say this before you say how you feel. Richard Booze is the one that had this bitch drug me, and I got him on audio admitting it, and the nigga text messaged me bragging about it. So no matter what you about to say about how you feel, I just want to let you know I'm not guessing about what happened to me. I'm not none of that. My my childhood my child my childhood friend from sixth grade, for whatever reason, out of jealousy and envy, the same nigga who set me up to go to jail for his gun, who I did three and a half years for his gun that was not my gun, it was his gun. I just didn't that's snip. The, that's the nigga that was in the picture with your baby mama holding up your son, right? Oh yeah, he getting that's shot. He shot. He shot. I, nigga, I, I've been watching you for years, Pharaoh. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, so, but. You wrong. I didn't. get your, No way. Let me talk now. Go ahead, but I didn't. But you're wrong. Your date is wrong. I didn't get drugged on my birthday, and I'm telling you right now. I'm I'm telling you so you know the background story. Oh, I could be wrong. Maybe it wasn't your birthday, but in the but but you're. I'm telling you now. I'm. I, but I'm. But listen to me. I'm telling. I am, but I have to tell you. I have to tell you something. I have to tell you something. So that you understand what what happened. I'm back here fighting the United States government, literally in a fucking war. You, Pharaoh, you don't explain to me. Yes, I do, because you don't you don't understand it. You don't understand what I'm saying to you. Jocelyn snuck those shrooms here. I did not know Jocelyn had the shrooms. Now my thing is okay, this. Okay, wait, wait, let me okay. get this out. Let me get this out. I knew that the I knew that the feds was gonna come. And I knew that I had a better chance of dealing with the feds than her due to the shit I got. So I said that the shrooms was mine because I knew that if at minimum, even if it was a beef, I would get in less trouble for the shrooms than hers. But in reality, Jocelyn snuck them shrooms in my house through the mail. And at the end of the day, any nigga that hustle, you know, nigga, you put drugs in the mail, especially without permission. That's a federal fucking crime. Nah. I've been taking, I didn't took, I didn't took shrooms before, I didn't want to say this, I didn't, I, I didn't took shrooms before since I was 17 years old, I ain't never had a trip. You said, you told, you said in the video, you said I took shrooms in Chicago before, and it ain't do that, I think it was the mushroom tea. Nigga, I, I seen the video, I remember. Right, but also, also little do you know, it was Percocet slipped in my tea also, I don't do Perkies, so how did that get in That's my system? the first time I heard you say that. Yeah, oh, y'all yeah, might say, this is the first time you heard me say that. That's why I'm trying to tell you. This is why I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't no shrooms. She made me mushroom. Listen to me, bro, so that you understand what I'm saying to you. She gave me tea. It was called mushroom tea. 
Now, my thing is this. I drink teas. I could go right now and, and literally walk you in my kitchen. I got a cup right now with it that, I, that I just drunk some tea out of. When I move, listen to me. I'm going to tell you what all was in my tea when I got drugged with. Every single day when I was waking up, I was giving her money to go to Kroger's to get me different teas because unlike Buffalo, it's more health food stores down here. So I'm like, oh shit, okay, I'm having a ball in Kroger's and Sprouts. So every day I was trying new teas. So it's not like she just gave me mushroom. One day I had this kind of tea, the next day I had that kind of tea. She was making me breakfast every day. They really got a tea called mushroom tea though. That, because only mushroom tea I've ever heard of is a psychedelic tea. I never heard of just a regular mushroom tea. Now I never heard of... I drink tea I, too, my nigga. I drink tea too. Okay, now listen. I've never heard of neither kind of tea, the psychedelic or the mushroom. So what it is is she brought some Percocets from Martina behind my back, which I did not know because apparently Martina ass was selling fucking Percocets and I did not know. So goddamn, this bitch bought some Percocets from Martina and she got some ayahuasca and this bitch slipped it in my tea. And so let's say if I've been drinking tea since fucking Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I get drugged on a fucking Wednesday. This like my seventh cup of fucking tea. I'm not thinking nothing of it. And she already didn't rock me to sleep, getting me comfortable, making me think she ain't going to poison me. Plus, like I said, I knew her since 2016, 2017. I never would have thought she would have did something like that. So when she gave me, pause, pause. When she gave me the mushroom tea, it didn't have mushrooms in it. It had Percocet and ayahuasca in it. So I want to be clear on that. She did drug me. Because I let that bitch come back, and I act like nothing was wrong, and I went through that bitch phone. That's for one. I seen everything I needed to see in the bitch phone with my own two eyes. Now, that's for one. For two, she got the ayahuasca because I bought some water from um, this company in Atlanta called Moon Jug Water. And when I bought the, uh, the uh, water from, I, from, from Moon Jug... They put ayahuasca in the shit, but I never asked for the ayahuasca. I didn't buy the ayahuasca. I didn't pay for the ayahuasca. It's like some organic health, you know, type black people. Exactly what ayahuasca is, bro. I ain't, I'm not saying describe my ayahuasca. If you're listening, I'm telling you I didn't ask for the ayahuasca. I'm telling you how I got it. They put this shit in my order, and they gave me the ayahuasca when I brought it. So now when I was in Buffalo, that's. When I acquired the ayahuasca. Now, Golden, who was my baby mother, one of my baby mothers, no disrespect to her. I'm not going to, you know, say she's a hoarder or no shit like that. But this bitch don't want to throw shit out. So when we moved to Texas, she brought everything, including that ayahuasca that was in that damn jug of water that we brought. So now from that point on, when we get here to Texas, I never purchased no shrooms from nobody down here. I never purchased no perks. I never purchased no ayahuasca. And the reason I already had the ayahuasca is because the shit came down here in my packages when I mailed it down here as we packed everything. Now I said to say this. My bodyguard, who unbeknownst to me used to work for Rick Ross, kept trying to get me to go to Miami to do ayahuasca. And I kept telling him, what the fuck is ayahuasca? And he kept saying, it'll make you see the ancestors, man. It'll make you see the ancestors. And I told him, I'm like, well, listen, Ace. Nigga, I don't do, I don't get around niggas and do shit I don't do. I done been around all kind of niggas. Niggas that pop Molly Prano ass, pop Zans. You don't see me pop a Zan. I just started smoking weed if three, four years ago. I'm 29. So I'm like, nigga, I don't want to go to, uh, whatchamacallit, Miami and, 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 and do no shamanistic, have no shamanistic experience. So, boom. Uh, whatchamacallit. Not only is my bodyguard constantly trying to influence me to do ayahuasca. After this bitch drugged me and she admitted out her mouth she got the Percocets from Martina. The ayahuasca was no longer in my uh, pantry. I didn't move it. Golden don't live with me. She couldn't have moved it. The only motherfucker that was in my house because I was by myself with Jocelyn. The only motherfucker that could have possibly touched that ayahuasca was Jocelyn. So I just want to say all of that to you. You can say whatever you want after. But I just want to say that to say that's how I know for a fact she drugged me. For one, the shit that I'm saying she drugged me with, it was and is gone. For two, 
She snuck and bought Percocets behind my back that I had no clue that she brought from Martina. And then for three, the bitch drugging me and setting me up is all in her phone. If the feds ain't got the shit already, it ain't nothing to get. It ain't nothing to subpoena them text messages. So Richard and all of these niggas is all in her phone. I seen it from my own two eyes. And also, the nigga thought, he must have thought I wasn't never going to shake back. And the nigga DM me, taunting me, and basically saying, ha ha, we drugged you. So that's how I, that's how, I, so I'm saying all that said this, that's how I know that bitch drugged you. Like, here's the thing, Pharaoh. I was following you from the beginning. Like, when you was out there attacking the deep state, draining the swamp and all that, nigga, I was behind you 100%. But now you got, like, you got you got people that follow you, bro, that be in your comment section, and they don't want to look at the facts because they so blind. By what, you. what is the facts? I was drugged. So they, they say, hold on. They say, you ain't got to explain yourself. But they say, get off his platform if you don't believe him, shit like that in the comments, right? But my thing is that we watched you go from from up here to down here. We seen that on camera because you filmed everything every day because you said I filmed shit because I wanted to see what my mind state was at the time because I was drunk. But I was there because you was telling us to screen record the shit. So I got a lot of shit to screen recording of the shit that happened and the shit that went down. I'm glad you day do. By day. You feel me? And you was making videos and you were saying, yo, I take shrooms now. And I'm telling, and I'm telling, and I'm telling you, and I'm telling you again, as I just told you, I said that because at the time I did not know Jocelyn drugged me, but I knew the feds was coming and Jocelyn told me like, oh shit, I got shrooms. Why would you be protecting a bitch that, that tried to drug you? I just told your ass, nigga. I didn't know at the time. I didn't know at the time, motherfucker. If you listen, I didn't know she drugged me, nigga. I just said that. When she drugged me, I thought the motherfucking government drugged me. And when the feds was coming, she said, wait a minute, be quiet. When she drugged me, I thought the fucking CIA or the government drugged me. So as I'm preparing for them to come to my house, Kwa came to my door. I don't know why the fuck Kwa came to my house. He said he came to my house because he seen me on the internet. To be honest, I wasn't even on the internet like that yet. But Kwa pulled up, and then when Kwa pulled up, Jocelyn, Kwa had some weed. I said, bro, let me hit the weed. Jocelyn said, don't hit the weed because you don't need to have no drugs in your system. So I'm like, what you mean I don't need to have no drugs in my system? And then, boom, she let me know she had the shrooms. So I'm like, flush that shit down the fucking toilet before the fucking fans get. So now, boom, we, now, boom come to uh, this scene right here that you talking about. I didn't know Jocelyn drugged me yet. If, you're, if you actually listen to what I'm telling you, I just told you I didn't confirm that she drugged me until I let her come back and I went through her phone while she was asleep and I sent the messages. So before I let her come back and I went through her phone, in my mind, I thought the fucking CIA drugged me and I'm getting ready to have a shootout with the goddamn police. So, so, so when I made that video, so wait a minute, so when I made that, when, when I made that, when I made that video... And I said, I do shrooms now. I said that because as the police was coming to my house, I figured I would take the charge for the shrooms because at the end of the day, even if I got to fight this shit in court, I got a better chance fighting this shit than this bitch do. So I took the, ch I was going to take the charge for the bitch or at least take responsibility for the bitch because I'm thinking I got a better chance handling this shit in court than this stupid bitch. But come to find out, this bitch actually is the one. I'm protecting the bitch that actually fucking drugged me. So I'm just letting you know that's why I said that. Because at the time, I did not know that she drugged me. In the time, at the time, I, I figured I was taking the charge for this bitch. I, I hear that. But, Pharaoh, this one I'm trying to get you to understand because maybe you was drugged and you don't know what I'm talking about. You made more than one video. You feel me? So, like, I thought it was your birthday. Remember earlier I said it was your birthday. The reason I thought it was your birthday because you was on the camera and you was like, yo, I ain't never did nothing for none of my birthdays. Nigga, I got some shit in this bitch. I got a knife in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's a whole separate video from the one that you was like, yo, I take shoes now. That was I, might, I might have did. I don't know. I might have did. I don't know. No, I know you did. I got, I got the video. Nigga, I'm trying to tell you. But motherfuckers in the comments say I'm hearing what I want. No, nigga, I saw this shit. I was there whole time. Nigga. Right, right. Now, now, my thing is this. That's, 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 fi that's fine that you, that's fine, that's fine that you have them videos. My point is this. 
me being drugged, why would I why why would I lie about being drugged? Listen, I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. You know what I mean? Because it don't make sense to me to see you saying, "Yo, I got shrooms in this bitch. I ain't never did nothing. We finna turn. We finna get lit in this." Bitch. Yeah, because I'm trying to play. Yeah, because I'm trying to play it off. Let me get this. Let me get my rocks. Let me get my rocks off. And then another video, you were like, "Yo, I take drugs now." But I remember the day, the day it was either the day you got drugs or took the shrooms. The day after you got drugs or took the shrooms. You was laying on your floor in the garage, nigga, talking about, yo, somebody brought shoes in this bitch without my permission. Somebody drugged me. I saw shit. Okay. So, I don't know if you might, like, you, I, I understand what drugs can do to your brain, so you might not understand what I'm telling you, but I'm telling you verbatim what happened, what I saw happen, bro. Okay, well, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you that I was drugged, and, um... You know, what you may or may not have seen at the time, I'm not even going to go back and forth with you about that. All I'm going to say is I was drugged and Little Dirt was behind it, and I'm killing Little Dirt. It's not about no Chicago or none of that, so I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm just letting niggas know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how you feel about that, but like I said, I'm killing Little Dirt. I, 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 I don't feel the type of way. I'm from Chicago, born and raised. I live in Florida now. I just moved to here, both with my family, my baby mama, my kids now in Florida with me because I don't fuck with Chicago. It's too crazy. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a little confusing. I'm glad that you let me come on here because I had those questions, bro. Because I've seen you go from like on the top of your game, and then I guess you got the you got drugs or whatever, and then you went south, bro. Oh, I'm not. I'm not south. I'm. On, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going south. I'm actually about to be a trillionaire. I'm just trans. I'm just transitioning. I'm just transitioning into another part of my my my, my business. But I'm actually. Okay. I'm actually. I'm actually about to be a trillionaire. I actually have seven applications, one invention, two products, and um, I'm actually the most uh, wealthy, excuse me, the most valuable, about to be the most wealthiest black man in not just the world, but the history of the world. So I'm not going south. I'm just going up. My thing is I'm just tired of niggas. But I say all that to say uh, what you've seen is me actually just say fuck niggas because I'm tired of the shit niggas do. I'm tired of the lame ass shit niggas do. And this shit right here, that little, this shit right here, that little dirt just put was the last straw. Man, fuck times. these niggas. Fuck these niggas. Listen, you say this shit many times. I hear you. But there's certain police officers in your life that you fuck with. You I don't have no I don't have no police officers in my life that I fuck with. Bro. Huh? You ever seen you me with many videos? Hold on. You said many videos that this cop in my life was a good cop. This cop was a bad cop. Whatever. Oh, I thought you I thought you meant currently, but my life my life no, story. No, I'm not talking about currently. Okay. I'm I don't give a you fuck. Say, you can't say fuck all niggas because a couple of niggas that was in your life fucked you over. Man, I would, ju- I would, ju- listen to me. Any, as long as niggas, as long as niggas is not going against what I'm building, we don't got a problem. And as long as don't nobody disagree with me killing Lil Dirk and everybody involved, we don't got a problem. But anybody that got a problem with that, I would, like I said, nigga, I drop a bomb, drop a bomb, kill every, drop a bomb, murder everybody. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. Drop a bomb, murder everybody. Oh, nigga, I, I already built my nation. I built my nation as a one-man army. Like I said, at the end of the day, as long as niggas don't, as long as niggas ain't going against what I'm doing, we ain't got a problem. And as long as niggas don't got a problem with me making sure Lil Durk is 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 rotting in hell somewhere, we don't got a problem. Like I said, I hate you, like I said, I don't give a fuck about no what no niggas gotta say. Like I said, long as niggas don't got no problem with me killing Lil Durk and, and everybody else I want to murder, we ain't got no problem. Like I said, I've been saying it the whole time, and I do you see me in jail? Because I'm the general. Because I'm the general. If if something if something happened if something if something happened to Dirk if something happened to Dirk and it actually was me, I'm gonna let y'all know that it was me. But if, if somebody just randomly shoot that nigga and it's not me, I'm going to tell everybody as much as I wanted that motherfucker dead and I wanted to piss on his grave, it, this one wasn't me. He probably did the same thing to somebody else and they got to his ass before I could get to his ass. That's what I'm going to say. And thank God for whoever get to his ass before I could get to his ass. Dirk got his own demons. Last time I'm from Chicago. He got something. Old, he, he, he ain't had one of mine. He ain't, he, ain't, he ain't had no. He ain't had one of me. 
Whatever demons Dirk got, Dirk ain't had one of me. Dirk ain't had one of me. Like I said, I don't play them games. Yeah, I don't play them games. I'm killing his ass. I'm murdering this motherfucker. I'm killing this motherfucker. And like I said, India better get the fuck from around Dirk. Because I don't hit bitches and I don't hit kids. But bitch, if you, if bitch, like I said, bitch, you want to be a ride. Bitches want to ride. They want to ride. They want to. Bitch, if you want to ride, bitch, that's what the fuck you choose to do. But like I said, if I got to hit this motherfucker with a. If I got to hit this nigga Dirk with a motherfucking a drone. If I got to have the military hit this motherfucker with a drone. Hit, bitch, you would be blue the fuck up with his ass. So like I said. Bitch, you might as well go and get the fuck from out the house. Whoever the fuck she can move in with, that's who the fuck that bitch need to move in with. Like I said. So, you do all that research, all that studying, put all that information out there for years just to go to jail over for dirt. I ain't going to jail, nigga. I'm the general. You going to jail. How the fuck I'm going to jail, nigga? I'm not on why I put my kids I'm just saying, nigga, if you get up you and, nigga, you might go to jail. Time, Listen to me. I'm going to let you know. I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I didn't caught bodies and never went to jail because I was smooth. Nigga, now I got permission to kill. I ain't go to jail when I didn't have permission to kill. Now I got permission to kill. It's up. Ain't no none of that. Like I, oh, nigga, I, oh, that's what the military is for. That's what the military is for. So? The, the CIA? The CIA is higher than the military. Okay. I bet you, but I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, I, bet you, I, talk, I bet you, I don't, I bet you, I don't fuck, I bet you, I don't, I bet you, I don't fuck the United States of America, but I bet you, I, I talk to the, I got the master sergeant in the military number in my phone, I got other personnel, but I choose Korea. I, I bet you, I bet you, you will see, like I said, I don't have to have the United States do nothing, nigga, I will have, Jap nigga, I'm telling you right now, I'll be the half. You don't think, 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 uh, the United Nations is already over here? You don't think Israel is already over here? You don't think Korea, you don't think the Korean, you don't think the Korean military is already over here? I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just let you know right now, you, you, I don't know what, I don't know where the red light's gonna lead you, but hopefully you get out of the realm of illusion. I'm doing good in mine too, nigga. I'm about to build it. Uh, I'm about to build it. 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 I'm about to build an Egyptian slash Japanese style palace on 51 acres of land and 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 ball with buyers of gold. So my life going good too. All right. So my man. So okay. So you. So you on my lot. So you. All right. What's up? Do you got a problem with Lil Dirt getting killed or not? Okay. Then what? Then what? Then what else you want to talk about? Then what else? Then what else you want to, then what else do you talk about? Can we talk about the drugs again? Oh, are we done from that? Because I wasn't finished that. I was drugged. Do you believe that I was drugged? I know something happened to you, bro, but if you took the shit willingly versus somebody gave it to you unknowingly, it's two different things. Exactly. So I'm telling you that I was drugged and then I took the blame for the shrooms because I didn't want this bitch to go to the feds. So that's what I'm and telling you. Know what else I, Golden was, ain't no telling what Golden was doing. Golden was back, I don't know. I don't know what Golden was doing, to be honest. Golden back here fucking my, Golden back here, Golden back here fucking the bodyguard. Golden back here fucking half a time. I don't know what that bitch was doing. I don't know what that bitch was doing. Myself and my family. What do you mean? Why would I question that? Because you're because you're supposed. I'm gonna tell you. Let me let me tell you why I'm questioning that. Because I'm drugged. I'm listen to me honestly. I, I ain't gonna drug. I really I really think you a. I listen to me. I really think you a stupid ass bitch. Cause you don't listen to shit. I'm gonna tell you right now. I think you a stupid ass bitch. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you why I think you a stupid ass bitch. This is why I was questioning my bodyguard. You stupid ass bitch. Because when I was drugged. The nigga that I was paying seven thousand dollars a month, when I put, when I called him and told him I was drugged, this nigga abandoned me. And then not only did he abandon me, he went to my baby mama house without me knowing. So my thing is, why the fuck? If I'm your bodyguard and you call me and you say, Pharaoh, I think I've been drugged, and I leave and I abandon you and leave you on the scene, and then and then and then the next day. 
I'm at your baby mama house. Why the fuck would that not be suspect? Why is that not suspect? I'm gonna answer your question. All right, let me hear. I want to hear because you, like I said, they don't make them. They don't make them smart in Chicago, obviously. He's my listen. He's my he's my bodyguard. For me, for me and my family. Okay, so when he went over the golden house without my permission. Why did why did he abandon me? Listen, bro. Why did he abandon me and go to my baby mother house? Why did he abandon me for? That night when he was like, "Yo, my bodyguard leaving me. My bodyguard leaving me. Everybody screen record this. My bodyguard just left." Me. Yes, he was he abandoning me. He went, so he left right there and went to go to the house. No, he went home, bro. How do you know? Was you here? No, you didn't hear the stories from both. Listen, how how the fuck do you know he went home? How the fuck do you how the fuck you gonna tell me where my bodyguard went when the reason I even cussed my bodyguard out is because I called my baby mama and the nigga is in the back. I hear the nigga over there. So my thing is how the fuck is you how the fuck is you gonna tell me in the situation? And listen, my thing is this, it don't matter, it don't matter if that nigga left and went to Toys R Us. Nigga, you should have never left. So you telling me if me and you, so you telling me, listen, so let me ask you a question because you're talking about you from, you talking about you from Chicago. If me and you, if me and you go to a bar, right? If me and you go to a bar and then I go to the bathroom and I come back from the bathroom and you say, hey, Pharaoh, I feel like somebody just slipped something in my drink. If I say, er, listen to me, listen to me. If, if you, if I'm at a bar with you and I go to the bathroom and I come back from the bathroom and then you tell me. You feel like somebody slipped something in your drink and then I I abandon you and leave you at the bar. Whether I go to your baby mama house or I go home or not is irrelevant. The question is, why the fuck did I abandon you? Why did I abandon you? Why would I abandon you? Fuck, fuck, fuck being an employee just as a genuine... Now I'm telling you that that's a lie. He lying. I didn't say that. I didn't say that to him at first. He's a liar. I don't, the thing is, I don't give a fuck what he said. I'm telling you what I said. At the end of the day, he's my employee. I I never said nothing to him about no bitch ape shifting or none of that. He's a liar. How the fuck could I say that to him when you left? I never got a chance to even tell him what the fuck happen because the nigga the nigga left and, and and my thing is this pause before you cut me off how the fuck did he come in my house and check around my house when in reality my issue with him was why the fuck are you not trying to come in my house i was mad at my bodyguard at the scene because i'm telling you to come in here and check my house and check jocelyn and check my house and he talking about come outside and i'm like nigga i could barely stand the fuck up why the fuck would i come outside so even whatever he talking about, he checked my house. My issue is he never checked my house. He was talking about something. He going to watch me on the camera. He might be lying on you, Dan Froze. He might be lying. Ain't no might be. He is lying. Listen, he also said, bro, because I don't play the fucking video for you. The nigga said that I was on my house that you also offer him shrooms. You always have him sitting on the counter in a transparent plastic bag. And you say, yo, Ace, you want some shrooms? You want some of these shrooms, Ace? He said you was on shrooms, bro. You was taking that shit willingly. And he didn't want to go in the house. You had drugs in there. He's a professional. So he, he scoped out your crib, said that you was safe, and he left. I'm telling you what the nigga said. I'm okay, gonna okay. I'm going to tell you right now. He don't. He, okay, so he don't. Okay, so he don't. He don't want to go in my house because there's drugs in there. He's a professional, but he want to take me to Miami to do ayahuasca. Uh, he's a professional, but he fucking with my baby mom behind my back. He's a professional, but he fucking pause. He's a professional, but he fucking with other niggas bitches behind my back. Like my thing is. He, Listen to me. I wouldn't give a no, fuck. I, I wouldn't give a fuck. I wouldn't give. I am about to answer the question. I wouldn't have gave a fuck if that was the, the the issue. But the thing is, 
Why would you be t be protecting my kids and my baby mother from me when I'm? Oh, I did. Oh, I did shoot at her house. Oh, and I'm gonna tell you why I shot at her house. I'm gonna tell you why I shot at her house because that bitch was because that bitch was out here prostituting and and having sex with my kids in the next fucking room and refusing to tell me who the fuck was coming in and out of the motherfucking house. So. Since that bitch wanted to be a hoe and endanger my kids' lives and tell me she don't gotta tell me who the fuck sit my who the fuck is around my kids gonna sell pussy, I shot into an empty garage after I went down to the apartment complex ten times and had my attorney Chris Armenta call down there and they refused to take my name off the lease. Cause all I asked them to do pause, 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 pause. pause. I told them to take my name off the fucking lease, okay? I didn't snitch on Golden. I didn't call 911. But I'm like, bitch, you're not about to be, you're not about to be, pause. You're not about to be prostituting with my kids in the house. Down here in Texas, that's 20 years. So my thing is, you're not about to be prostituting with my kids in the house, let alone you're not about to be prostituting out of no property that's in my name that I'm fucking paying for and then got the nerve to tell me, I don't, I don't have no business about what the fuck you're doing. So yes, so yes, so yes, so yes, so yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. Yes, nigga. I shot into that garage, nigga. And I sent that bitch home. And I sent that bitch home back with her busted ass mama and her busted ass brother. Facts. That's after. Yeah, okay, whatever. Well, I'm going to tell you what. 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 He gonna get killed. He about to get killed. Dirk about to get killed. Richard about to get killed. And nigga, if you feel some type of way, you could get killed. So with that being said, so with that being said, suck my dick, nigga. Get off my line. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck my dick. 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 Fuck you, nigga. Fuck your kids and fuck your bitch. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I'm going to Costa Rica to be rich. I'm going to Costa Rica to be rich. I'm going to Costa Rica to be rich. Suck my dick, nigga. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Period. Suck my dick. Period. Fuck Chicago. Suck my dick. Bomb that bitch. Kill everybody in that bitch. Period. Kill the whole Chicago. Fuck Chicago. Fuck it. Kill Kello too. Fuck it. Period. Kill this motherfucker. Suck my dick. Period. Bomb this bitch. Bomb this motherfucker. Fuck that. Kill Kello ass too. Fuck it. Kill Kello ass too. Kill this nigga too. Fuck it. Merc them boys. It's up. Nuke them boys. And I mean it. Now. Fuck wrong with y'all boys. Kill Kello ass too. Fuck it. It's up with me. It's up with me. It's up with me. You say what? It's up with me. Let's go. It's up with me. Kill Kello ass too. Fuck it. It's up with me. It's up. It's up with me. Fuck it. It's up with me. It's up. Damn, somebody flagged my life. I can't even go live. Fuck that nigga. Fuck it. Kill Kello ass too. Period. Kill Golden Family too. Kill a ass. Kill they ass, it's up. Kill they ass up. Murder they ass up. Period. Murder they ass. Fuck it. Bomb that bitch. Period. Bomb that bitch. Bomb that bitch. Fuck it. Bomb that bitch. Period. Bomb that bitch. Period. Bomb that bitch and kill everybody. Period. Kill everybody. Period. Kill everybody. He feels some type of way because he from Chicago. I don't go fuck with that nigga from Chicago. Nigga, fuck Chicago. Bomb that bitch and kill Kello ass too.
fuck it. Period. 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 Bomb that bitch. And kill Kello ass too. Period. I don't give a fuck. Bomb that bitch. Bomb that bitch. Bomb that bitch. Bomb that motherfucker. 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 Period. Bomb that motherfucker. Bomb that motherfucker. Bomb that motherfucker. Bomb that motherfucker. That's all I can say. Bomb this motherfucker. Bomb this motherfucker. Period. 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 Bomb, motherfucker. Period. Bomb.